I'm Alex Tsai. I'm a rising senior on the Stanford women's lacrosse team, and I'm excited to show you what my life in quarantine looks like. Before Dana Point, I was at home quarantining with my family in La Jolla, California. This is my dad. He played lacrosse in college and introduced me to the sport. I've been keeping up my stick skills by playing catch with him in the backyard. Say hi. Hi. Everyone has been affected by what's gone on the past five months, ever since the pandemic really took hold. How would you say you have changed or has your perspective changed? I have changed so much just in the past few months. I think this pandemic has made me so grateful for the opportunities that I have, as well as for the relationships that I've had with family, with friends. And I think the best advice I've received in the past few months is to avoid taking the path of least resistance. Oh my God, like so close. Yeah. We're playing virtual really Catan. <laughs> I'm filming this with the help of my little brother, Jacob. You guys are gonna hit me. Yo, no, 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 no. And you mentioned earlier how much your parents ha have meant to you, and I know that you've been able to be home with them in, in La Jolla, California, just outside San Diego since the pandemic started. So tell me about how has that dynamic shifted or has it at all in that extra time you've had with your family? Both my parents are extremely busy, and normally they would be on business trips, traveling, coming to watch my games and the games of my two little brothers as well. So I think this quarantine has really made our family stop and slow down a little bit and really value what brought us together in the first place, which is simply being together. It's just been great to reconnect with my family, play lacrosse with my brothers and my dad in the backyard like the old days. One of the best things about being home has been hanging out with my family in quarantine. Hi. So Alex, I think most of us are trying to sort of navigate the pandemic by putting our heads down and surviving one day at a time in our little bubble, but you, you're, you're out there trying to change the world and help people. You have so much going on right now, a really cool summer internship. You're a Mayfield fellow, but I want to start with the work you're doing with the FarmLink project because it's just amazing. So can you kind of tell me about what FarmLink is and, and how you got involved? The FarmLink project is a grassroots organization founded in mid-April. It's an organization that transports surplus produce from farms to food banks in need while paying wages to farmers and truckers. I'm checking in from United Hands in Compton. We're packing and shipping produce to distribute today. In the beginning, I was a member of the founding team and in the beginning it was extremely scrappy. I was on the phone with farms, on the phone with food banks, but since then as our organization grew and as we determined more of a leadership role for members of the founding team, I took the position of fundraising lead. This is what a farm link meeting later. looks like. My job currently looks like coordinating all of our fundraising efforts, 100% of which goes towards purchasing produce as well as paying our truckers to transport that produce. We're currently distributing produce from FarmLink. Um, there are hundreds of cars and it stretches all the way around the block. And today is our 10 million pound shipment. Um, it's been an adventure of the summer, but we're so grateful for all the support we've gotten. It's 10 million, yeah. 10 million pounds of food <laughs> rescued and delivered. Spinach. Yogurt, almond milk, toothbrushes, a bunch of greens, bread. Let's go farm length. Handing out a shipment of eggs to the first customers. United Hand. Distributing produce with Caroline and Stella, who are Stanford students. What was your reaction to the news that fall sports are being postponed? I think I was heartbroken, but I really respect the Pac-12 CEO group for the decision that they made. Putting the health of student athletes is of utmost priority. And despite the fact that it absolutely is devastating for all the fall sport athletes who have been training so hard for a return, I think this is a test of what athletes are best at, which is resilience and scrappiness and grit. If athletes can do anything, it's bounce back, and I'm really looking forward to another season, hopefully in the new year.